So in this video, we want to graph the quadratic y equals x squared plus 2x minus 6. And keep in mind that y and f of x are interchangeable notations. So I'll refer to those. First thing we want to do is find the vertex. For the vertex, if you remember the formula for finding the x-coordinate was negative b over 2a. That represents the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate would be f of negative b over 2a, meaning plug this value in once it's computed to the original function to find the y value. So in this problem, our x coordinate is negative 2 over 2 times 1. This reduces to negative 1, so I will then in turn be finding f of negative 1 for the y coordinate. So here we are, negative 1. We have that established. If I put negative 1 in here, I get a 1. If I put a negative 1 in here, I get a negative 2. 1 minus 2, negative 1. Negative 1 minus the 6, negative 7. So there's my y value of the vertex. Now I'm going to set up a t table with x and y coordinates. And I'm going to put the vertex here. Now, because of the symmetry of a parabola, which is also known as the graph of a quadratic, I'm going to choose two values around it. 0 and 1 are two values to the right of it on the x-axis. Negative 2 and negative 3 are two values to the left of that. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I know these y values here and here and here and here will be the same because of the symmetry of the graph. So I only need to calculate these two y values to complete my table and have five solid points from which to graph. Let's start out with f of 0. Alright, if I plug 0 into the original function, I would get 0 plus 0 minus 6. So my y value would be a negative 6. Now, because of symmetry, I know if I plug in negative 2, I will also get a negative 6. Let's do it for f of 1. This would be 1 plus 2 minus 6. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Because of symmetry, I know up here this y value would also be negative 3. I now have five coordinates from which to plot the graph and get an idea of what the graph looks like. Let's first do negative 1, negative 7, right here. Then we'll plot 0, negative 6. And we'll also plot 1, negative 3. And because of symmetry, I know I can do negative 2, negative 6, and negative 3, negative 3. And therefore, my graph will look like that. 